investigation continues tonight after a four year old little girl and her grandmother were injured in a shooting this afternoon in Avon. Another family member has now been arrested. As CBS 4's Courtney Spinelli reports, investigators say this case provides a stark lesson in gun safety. A four year old girl and her grandmother injured in a shooting police say happened in the living room of this home on Glensford Drive. It's heartbreaking. Amanda and Mallory Ty were home at the time and saw the aftermath. I had no idea, but I saw the two stretchers come out um, and I saw the grandma. Um, so I knew at that point it wasn't good. Neighbors tell us the girl is one of several children living in the home. I'm really praying and hoping that these kids are okay and they get the help and everything that they need and deserve. Throughout the afternoon, investigators interviewed witnesses and executed search warrants. They could be seen going in and out of the home, gathering and documenting evidence. Our detectives and officers have made an arrest this evening in connection to the shooting. 25 year old Brandon Clark, a resident of the home and relative of the victims, arrested for criminal recklessness with a deadly weapon. Police say he owns the handgun, but they're still looking into who was handling it when the shooting happened. Somebody that can be, uh, be handling a weapon irresponsibly doesn't necessarily mean that they possessed it at the time, but that still remains under investigation. Avon police believe this was an unintentional shooting. Still, they say it sends a message about the need to discuss gun safety and properly securing weapons. My opinion is that over 99% of people are very responsible gun owners. Uh, this is a very uh, unique situation where these sort of things happen. Reporting in Avon, Courtney Spinelli, CBS 4 News. Police say the Department of Children and Families has been notified. The school police department is working with Avon police to provide resources for the other children in that home.